Hey guys, today we're going to work on two-way ANOVAs. We're going to be measuring student happiness. To measure this, we're using a scale of 1 to 10. 1 being not happy, and 10 being very happy. The two measurements that we used is student standing in college, such as freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. We also used where they ate, such as swoops, baldies, and the roost. Now we're going to enter the participants' scores into each cell, whether they're a freshman, sophomore, junior, or senior, and based on where they ate. Swoops, baldies, or the roost. If any time throughout this video we're moving too fast, or things aren't making sense, remember you can always pause and rewind. The first thing we need to find is the n, or the total number of participants. We then need to find sum of x squared, and finally, squared sum of x. First, we're going to count how many participants are in each cell. Now that I know there are 5, and 4 times 3 is 12 cells. So there are 60 participants total. So our n is 60. Next, we're going to find squared sum of x. To start finding this, we must add together all of the numbers within each cell. I know this may seem tedious, but it'll help you out in the long run, and it'll make sure that you keep all of your numbers straight. We're now going to start adding the numbers down each column. The columns are factor A. Factor A is the student standing, such as freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. Likewise, we're going to start adding the numbers across the rows. This is factor B. A factor B is where they choose to eat, whether it's swoops, baldies, or the roost. Now that we have all these numbers, we're going to add all of factor B together. This will give us sum of x. Now if we square that, we'll get squared sum of x. Now we need to find sum of x squared. To find this, we're going to square each number within each cell and add them together. This is another long process, but it will help you minimize mistakes. Once we have all the numbers, we add them all together, and we'll get 1,999. Now we're going to find sum of squares for factor A, factor B, between groups, interaction, within, and total. To find sum of squares total, we take our squared sum of x minus sum of x squared and divide it by n. To 
find sum of squares for factor A, we're going to use our sum of x at the bottom. We're going to calculate the n for each column, square each sum of x for the column, and then divide it by 15. Add them all together, and then subtract that by our sum of x squared divided by n. To find sum of squares for factor b, we're going to use each row. We're going to find the number of participants in each row, which happens to be 20, square each sum of x for each row, and then divide it by 20. Add them all together, and then subtract it from our sum of x squared divided by n. Next, we're going to look at the sum of squares for the between groups. We're going to take the sum of the scores in each cell, square it, then divide it by the n of the scores in each cell, which is 5. We're going to add the numbers from all the cells together, and then subtract the sum of x squared divided by n. Next, to find sum of squares of the interaction, we take sum of squared between minus our sum of squared for factor A minus sum of squared for factor B. For sum of squares within, we take sum of squares total minus sum of squares between groups. Now on to finding degrees of freedom. For finding degrees of freedom of factor A, there's four levels. Four minus one is three. A degree of freedom for factor A is three. To find degrees of freedom for factor B, there's three levels within factor B. Three minus one equals two. So two is our degrees of freedom for factor B. To find degrees of freedom for the interaction, you multiply degrees of freedom for A times B. For degrees of freedom within, you subtract 12 from 60. And finally, for degrees of freedom total, subtract one from 60. For mean of squares, you take the sum of squares and divide it by the degrees of freedom. Now let's get to f of tangs. You take the mean squares, a, b, and the interaction, and divide it by the mean squares within. And that gives you f of tang. Now that we have the f of tang, you need to find the f crit scores in the back of your book. You can find this by looking at the degrees of freedom within, and then the degrees of freedom for each interaction you're looking at. Now you can see the f of tang for a and f of tang for b are both larger than the f crit scores. That means they're significant. f of tang for the interaction is not larger, so it is not significant. And there you have it. You just did a two-way ANOVA.